All right, take two on the cabinet humidor tour. My black Pienza oak cabinet. Got this from uh, tampahumidor.com. Had some lighting issues in the first one. All you could end up seeing was my shadow. So this time around, I'm going to take you through, show you what I got real quick. All right, it's much better. Up here, we got my Padrones. Got some 1926s, some 64s some 80 years and some 45 year family reserves over here is my opus collection got some basically ranging the 2012 and 2013s in all sizes ranging from the double robustos to the a size right here got some power rangers up here some of the new angel shares uh reserva de chateaus lanceros and uh yeah basically a few perfection fours fives and a two over here we got some more Fuentes, like I got my Añejo Sharks from last year, I got 2012 uh, Añejo Shark, uh, I got some Rosado Sungrown Magnums and some more Añejos right here. Down here I have one of my new favorite sticks, it's the Man of War Orange County Chopper, limited edition, really really good stick. Down here is my Liga shelf, Drew Estate. I got my UF-13, some Liga Provada number nines in Robusto, Herrera Estelis, and Lancero right there. Got some uh, Undercrowns, and I got some more number nines in uh, Toro, some T-52 Toros, and a Feral Pig. Over here, I got my Casa Cubas. I got only the pre-releases, and I'm letting those age for at least another, for at least two years before I smoke them. Got a special release that a buddy of mine gave me from the latest IPCPR trade show. Some diamond crowns down there as well. Over here, I've got my Nika Rusticas. I got about 10 of those back there. I just got those off of a CBID. As well as my uh, Abe Flores Grand Reservas. Uh, just some miscellaneous sticks right here. Get better position with the light. It's, uh, the Nabakubi, uh, one shot, one kill. My Cohiba Edition Diamante, which I think is a really cool stick. Comes in a little glass tube. Uh, some my various tatuajes, like the 2009 La Verites. I got uh, an M80 right here. Uh, little Face, Reserva, Mummy, like that. Back here, we got a box of the Partagas. Benji homages, the Master Series, not the homages, I got the homages down here, I'll show you those in a minute, this is the Master Series, I'm letting that box age for a bit, alright, down here I got some uh, Flor de las Antillas and some Nat Shermans, over here I've got a uh, partial box of the Alec Bradley Prensados and Robusto, and down here I've got a box of the EP Carrillo Atlantic Cigar 15th Anniversary. So it's really good, but I heard they're even better aged, so I'm letting those age for a year. Uh, back here, I've got my jar of my Tatawahe Black Label. You can see that. Along down here, I've got a few Alec Bradleys in the Prensado and Churchill, Filthy Hooligan, my Nika Puros, and a Tempest. And my miscellaneous drawers over here. I've got a couple of cigars from the island that should, which not be named, along with my Fohiba that I got from my first trip to Cosmel. I'm gonna let that be a lesson too. If it's uh, sold in a glass top, it is not real. Uh, over here, I've got some miscellaneous ones that I get from my uh, Cigar of the Month Club. Let me get some better light here. That's better. Cigar of the Month Clubs, like my CEO Extreme, CEO Flatheads, Cinco Vegas, Carlos Taranos. These are just everyday smokes. Nothing, nothing too exciting in here. Same thing down here. More of the same. Miscellaneous is, uh, you know, something. That nobody had a cigarette, a cigar before they came in here. And they're like, hey man, I want to try something. I would, I would reach for here just to give them a start. See if I could find out what they like with their palate. Uh, yeah, I got nothing, nothing in here that's too, too thrilling, but again, good yard guard selection. Also down here, got the Romeo Julieta Reserva Reals, Brick House, Tarano, 
uh, Clemenso that I've been aging. It's been aging since 2009. Some Nicaragua selections, some Perdomo champagnes, and some off brands. This is really cool. And here's my Oliva shelf. I've got some V's in the double Robusto sizes. Got a, a G series, the V Milano. And over here, you can see it, are the cigars that me and my wife personalized for the wedding. Can't really focus in there, but that's Kimberly's my wife, and I'm Brian. And they are actually the Oliva Series O in Maduro. I bought about four boxes of those for the wedding. Gave those away as gifts, and I enlisted the help of my best man and other groomsmen to save me a bunch, and I'm going to smoke one every day. Uh, every wedding anniversary that me and my wife have. My wife have. Uh, down here, I got some more selections like the Rocky Patels, the Vintage 92s, the Edges, and some Master Blends in Churchill size. This one's kind of empty, but it's a special one of mine because it's one of my favorite cigars. I got three of the Las Calaveras, the 550, it's the Robusto size. And over here, Justin Bidwell can tell you all about these cigars that you see here on the right, as well as I got some Gurkha Ghosts, and I got a few more Gurkhas in the back, like the Black Label Cellar Reserve, as well as like a Warlord. Anything that Kaizad and Sosha makes is going to be in that little drawer. Down here are my boxes. Some of them are open, some of them are not open. Just for the sake of the video, I'll run through them real quickly. Partial box of the Oliva Serie V and Dol Robusto. I've got an unopened box of the Las Calaveras 550, which is the Robusto size. Down here, I wish this was a box of Liga Provider number nines, but it is a box of Rosa Cuba Angels that I am aging inside the box. Little short, short smokes. Just keep those in there. I find that they age better when I have them inside the box. Get out of the way. My box of Super Lanceros from Nat Sherman. They're actually a little bit longer than the traditional Lancero size. And I gave one to a buddy of mine. I have yet to smoke one. Uh, Oliva sampler box that I got at the event when I bought the box of Trouble Robusto Series V. See right there. A uh, parched box of the latest Crown Heads release, the Angel's Anvil. Really, really dynamite smoke. If you're a fan of the Las Calaveras, this is an opposite as far as taste profile. The flavors are much more mellow, nuanced, as opposed to like the Calaveras, which is meaty and in your face. Over here, I got an unopened box of the Orange County Choppers, the Man of Wars ones that I showed you earlier. Uh, again, one really blew my socks off. I have to thank Brian Glenn for featuring that on his channel because if it wasn't for him, I would probably not have sought it out and tried it, and I fell in love with it because that is a really consistent smoke. Uh, over here, I've got my box that I mentioned earlier, the Partagas Benji Homages. It was my first full box that I ever had, and I've been real good by not touching it. A uh, partial box of the Riot 65 cigars, which again, Brian Glenn featured, and real good. Everything that he mentioned about these cigars was true. And the fact that it pours off smoke and has very, very dessert-like flavors. A uh, box of the number two cigar this past year, according to Cigar Aficionado, the Aging Room Quattro. Uh, partial box of Monte Cristo number twos, Pride and Joy. And... Lastly, I got a full box and a partial box of the Smoke In Microblend series, the 601 La Bamba Bunker Buster. This box is for me, and this full box right here is for a buddy of mine. He's getting married soon, and he's throwing a little bit of a he's throwing a bachelor party. So I'll be bringing him a box of this because he was the one that gave me. The box of Prensados, when I got married, he get brought the box for my bachelor party. And yeah, so that's pretty much that's my cigar collection. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, this took me two years from starting to smoke cigars to finish to what you see now. So 
they are not kidding when they say that this is a slippery slope. I'll tell you that. All right. This is Brian Hirsch signing off, and thank you guys for checking it out. Hope you all enjoyed it.